Hey folks, so if you're anything like me and you're swapping out tires in your own basement or your own bike shop and you don't have an air compressor, you probably have come across some really stubborn tire and wheel combinations. I know I have and it just gets really old and tiresome. So in this video, I'm going to share a few techniques to help seat those stubborn tires to your wheels. So there's a few things that we'll need for this project. The first being a stubborn tire, wheel, tube, valve core remover tool, tire lever, syringe or a way to put sealant through your tubeless valve and some sealant itself. So before we jump into how to, I just wanted to let you know that I did a really in-depth analysis on tubeless tires, how to repair tubeless tires, how to set up a tubeless setup. I'll make sure to link that in the description below, but this procedure is just for tubeless setups because well, if you have a tube, you'll probably be able to seat that tire pretty easily. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is mount the tire to the rim. So the first thing that we need to make sure of is that the tire is in proper orientation with this wheel. One thing I haven't done yet is put sealant within the tire yet because especially with stubborn tires, putting sealant in the tire can really create a big mess. So I opt out of doing that and I end up just throwing the sealant through the tubeless valve with the syringe. And we'll get to that in a second. So once you get to this point and you try to pump up the tire and it just does not work, then there's a few things that you can do. First off, remove the valve core. So air doesn't really have much space to go through this valve core very quickly. So by removing it, you have a touch more space for air to flow through a little bit quicker. Another trick is to take your tire lever and basically just try to lift the bead of the tire up on the rim wall as far as I can go and then flip it over and do it on the other side. Nine times out of 10, this trick works for me. And sometimes I just automatically do this before I even try to seat the bead of my tire in the first place because it just saves the headache. So the last technique I have is throwing in a tube, seating the tire, and then breaking one side of the bead and then setting it up tubeless that way. This is obviously not as ideal. You have to take out your tubeless valve and throw in a tube, but in the event that you really need to mount this tire tubeless, this is the best way of doing it without an air compressor. So once you have the tube in the tire, you're gonna to wanna to pump it up and make sure both sides are seated. Once you have the tire pumped up with the tube inside and you have the bead showing all throughout the sidewall on each side, then you can depress the valve core, let air out, carefully break just one side of the bead of the tire and take this side off the rim. and then carefully remove the tube, throw the valve back in and remount this side of the tire and then try to pump up the tire as is with the valve core out. If that still isn't working, you can use that technique where you can manually lift this one side of the bead up on the rim wall. So then take the old floor pump and pump it up. So there you go. Seated both sides. So then add your syringe, add your sealant, put the valve core back in and you're good to ride. So if you're still having issues, then it's time to take that wheel and tire to your local bike shop so that they can help you. They probably have an air compressor. Or if you're nowhere near a local bike shop, consider a gas station or an auto repair store that has an air compressor. So if you like what you saw in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna help us out a little bit more, consider joining the Bikepacking Collective, which is bikepacking.com's membership. The Bikepacking Collective not only helps support the video that you are watching, but also all of the content on bikepacking.com, and it also helps support the Bikepacking Journal, an incredible print publication that is released twice a year. All right, folks, and that about does it. I hope you all took something away from this video. Until next time. Paddle further. So if you like what you saw in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe.